to my channel. So today we have another Bella Box unboxing. So this one I was super, super excited for because there was a couple of sneak peeks that I actually saw. So that was really exciting. We we're going to get a liner, there's going to get some eye gels, things like that. I'll show you what I got. Um, and so it made me actually really excited for this to come and I was pretty happy about that. So this one is the hashtag no filter box which I think is pretty cool. It's the April box, obviously. Um, so yeah, this arrived today, probably about an hour ago. I unwrapped it, got so freaking excited, couldn't wait to see what was in here, and I started pulling things out to have a quick look before I actually filmed. And yeah, then I got a little bit disappointed. So the first product... So, so so I don't spoil the rest of them. The first product, I don't know if that's going to focus. So as you can see, the first product was going to be a Steve Laurent Precision Tip Liner. This was going to be valued at $33.87, available at stevelaurent.com. It's not in my box. I do not have this in my box. So... I'm actually a little pissed. This is the first time I have received kind of a dodgy box. Like, I don't understand. The packaging was all fine. So they've literally not put it in. Um, yeah. Kind of annoying. I'll probably email customer service and see what can happen. Because that is, like, the most expensive item in the box as well. Um, the other things, like, $4, $11, 5 bucks, like... The other things barely even equal the price of the box. So, yeah. Anyway, I'll take that aside for the moment. And like I said, I'll email customer service and I'll leave an up, like, I'll put an update below um, when I do get a response from them and I'll let you know what um, ends up happening. But, yeah. So, that's a bit of a downer. But let's have a look what else is in the box. So we got the Patchology Fla Flash Patch Rejuvenating Eye Gels. This is going to be really cool to use. Can't wait to give this a go. So this is a sample size of one pair um, and it retails for $4.22. Um, you can get this for um, at mecca.com. So that's all right. Um, pretty cool. I'll probably definitely use these. Um, always up for a good eye mask. So yeah, that's I'm happy with that. The next thing we got, oh my god, I feel so flat. <laughs> After again, oh, get excited. Um, no, so this is the Kawaii Brush Cleansing Egg. So, I haven't even opened this. I think it's like one of those scrubby things. Oh, it's a brush. Oh, yeah. I thought it was, you know, I know. I don't really know. Okay, so this. Yeah, you obviously like maybe put your two fingers in or something, brush like that. Um, it's supposed to make brush maintenance a little easier. It's the brand Silicon Brush Cleansing Egg. It's detailed grooves to look after your bristles while retaining the brush's shapes. Leather with soap or shampoo to wash away product buildup. This retails for eleven dollars and is available on their website. So, um, honestly, I don't really know if I'll use this. I have a brush cleaning mat and. I just, I feel like, I, like, I don't really know how, like, I don't know. It's a bit, it's a bit weird. Um, so that, eh, eh, I probably won't use it though. The next thing is also a full-size product and this is the Humble Co. Humble Toothbrush. This, um, is a bamboo toothbrush and it's made from 100% biodegradable and sustainably grown bamboo. And it says, take care of your gums and mother nature too. And this retails for $6. So, um, that's cool. <laughs> that's cool. Um, yeah. It's just a toothbrush, so I will use it because, you know, you're supposed to change your toothbrush however often. And, um, it's always good to have another toothbrush. But, um, yeah. So far, like, 
one of the things I've been excited about the toothbrush is just something I would use like it's uh, to me it's nothing that super exciting I feel like I'm really negative in this video and I think it's just like the really sour taste it's left not receiving the most expensive product um, and that what is left in the box doesn't equal the basically doesn't equal what the box is worth what you pay like I think it's only just so yeah so this is the Bioderma uh, Light Moisturising Care Moisturiser Gel Cream. Um, 40 mils retails for $42.99. We only got 5 mils. So really small little sample. So that's pretty cool to have anyway. Um, and then we got a little sa sachet. And this time I got the OGX Shampoo and Conditioner Shea and Soft Shea and Soft and Smooth. Um, yeah, happy. We'll use that. Um, the Bioderma, we'll use that. The toothbrush, I'll use it. Am I excited about it? Not really. Um, the the little this, honestly, I'll probably end up throwing it out. Like that sounds so wasteful and so unappreciative, but I don't have a use for it, so. I probably will end up just throwing it out or letting my cat play with it. Um, and the Patchology Flash Patch, I'll definitely use this and I'm keen to actually know how this is. Um, yeah, so for what I received in this box, I do not think it's worth the money. And I, this is probably one of, this is probably the only negative review of Bella Box I've done. Every other time I really enjoy it or like there's at least a few things I'm super excited about. Having only really one that I'm excited about is a little bit disappointing and having the most expensive product in there not be in there um, is pretty disappointing as well. So it makes it a bit hard for me to be enthusiastic about this box. But yeah, so it's... Uh, it's $20 delivered to your door, or $19.99, delivered to your door. Um, look, go check out my other Bella Box reviews because I don't feel like this is one that represents how, like what they are actually and how and what you do get in them. I think this is actually a pretty poor box, even with the liner included. There would only be two products that I'd be actually happy about um, and excited about. Toothbrush I'll use, like I said, but like the other things, eh. So, yeah, um, I will let you guys know how I go with their customer service. I'll be emailing them and telling them I did not receive it and hopefully they will send me out one because realistically, I paid for it. It was supposed to be in the box. It's on my little card. Um, yeah. But anyway, <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed this video. Not that it's super positive or anything, but I hope you enjoyed the honest review that I gave. And if you did, give this video a thumbs up. Um, leave a comment down below. Have you ever bought something, ordered something, whether it's a subscription box or whether it's just you buying some products and something's missing? How did the customer service go for you? Um, I'd be curious to know. Anyway, please subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate it. And I hope you've all had an amazing day. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Thank you.